Hello there my YouTube friends and fans, welcome to 7 days to die. I'm actually not new to this game, I have spent hundreds of hours being totally addicted back in like 2020 and a little bit before that and then I went on with other games but now I'm back because the game finally released, believe it or not, after 10 years of being in like alpha and beta, it's been released and wow, the characters look so much better now. They were kind of stick figures before, well, not really, but some like pixelated creations. I really like that. Although you don't really see your own character because it's a first person game, but you know, it's still cool to know what you look like to others. Now they have like a really big selection here. So now I'm just going to have to find, I'm just going to go through all of them until I find the one that I feel like it is. Ha ha ha! What is that? Oh my god. All right. I need something that looks more like me. I always do that. I don't want to play someone I'm not. Yeah, definitely not a guy. So I think she looks the most like me. First one, Ali. All right, Ali, it is. And you can see that I have two games here. My main game that I spent hundreds of hours on it and another one that I tried before this release didn't get really far um, both of those characters are wiped all my progress have been has been wiped so I was a little bummed about this because I had so much good stuff um, but I understand you know they have to do that so now we're just gonna have to start over from scratch and I thought I'm gonna make a video for those of you who don't know about seven days to die or are curious about it or just want to see if it's worth it getting back into it after this time that you have not played it you know so this is like a fully released game now so i'm just gonna give this game a name i don't really know usually it doesn't really matter to me it's more so that you recognize it in case you have several games and then you can also select the game world. I usually go with Navis game because that's like the main, the, the main world, but you can select others and then you can have lots of other settings. And then I usually kind of just go with the default to start with. And then when I play and I find things that annoy me or that I want different, I go in and make adjustments. You can do that always before you start the game. All right, we're in the world, probably mostly naked. Um, my hands look pretty and let's see uh, everything. The movements are great. So let's go and start looting. Our first loot has some coins, a dry piece of steak and some lock picks. And we have two water, one can of food, bandages, a torch and a note. Yeah, that's going to be a rough start. So we need just stuff like wood. Ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah, this is not cool, but we have some wood now. We have two pieces. Wow, let's see if we can actually make an axe now. Where would that be? Here we go. Yes, we can. We have enough resources. All right. Perfect. All right, so we have to move the axe into the hot bar. That much I remember. Yes. All right. Now we're talking way better. Oh, wow. They still have the same house. This is the house that I had in my previous game. Well, one of many houses, but this was one of them one I spent the most time on. I've renovated the whole thing. It's got several levels. And I don't know if I want to have this house again. I want something new this time. We already found our first perk book or skill book. 
we have the entrance here or the one of the the back entrance then the laundry machines then the kitchen there's a lot of storage and it comes with a dead person on your stove isn't that lovely and then we run into our first zombie ouch ouch oh that was easy no nope. She's coming back up. I remember now, they always come back. So never think when they fall down that they're down because they never are. Ooh, we got some lovely stuff on the table and uh, yeah. And then it goes up here. There's like a really narrow stairs. There's like the first level here. Of course, there's a zombie already in the closet. All right. I don't have any armor or any good weapons, so I gotta be careful. I don't want to already die. Oh, he slapped me real hard there. Come on, stay down, stay down. Come on, ouch. God, my health is down to 39 now. That's not good. Uh, oh, that works. Amazing. My lost bandage or my only bandage, so that's going to be a problem. <laughs> well, we'll figure it out and look at that we found some bandages right there oh i'm so lucky i'm finding things and another skill book improves medical crafting skill amazing we're getting somewhere it's crazy how i just feel home in this house because i have spent so much time getting to know this house renovating all the walls and the ceilings and the floors oh hello there what are you doing here Oh, 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 no, that's not good. I feel cornered. Oh, that's not good. Oh, man, I have a concussion, too. Oh, boy, I got to get, get out of here. This is not good. I don't want to push my luck here. Ouch. He's still not down. Can you believe it? Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, and I can see now that I'm physically naked. Oh, that's lovely. No, not. So I haven't set a bedroll yet, so I don't know where I'm going to spawn. I'm curious. Oh, it looks like we're in the same house. I recognize this uh, room here. I used to uh, make this my workshop room. Yeah, I am in the same house. Well, I definitely have to do something about my clothing situation because I don't think I'm going to survive long with this. All right, let's get out of this house. I don't want to fight any more zombies because it's just wasting my time. I need to prep myself for proper survival, which means I do have to find myself a place. I don't want this place. It's too big. I have learned that the hard way. And, uh, you know, just get more resources, a lot of them and then see where we go from there oh wow look at this cute little place i'm looking for something like that that's exactly what i need but i need to clean out all those houses because they're full of zombies all right let's go into the basement all right oh i thought there was nobody here yeah there's always someone oh there's two of them all right well, I got a spear now, so I should be a little bit better off. I just have to take my time and just kind of check out the rest here. We have like a wheelchair. I hope I won't need that. This door is locked. Yeah, I think the basement is really the only way to get in. But I definitely want to clean out this house. I remember that the spear was always very good at the beginning because you can kind of keep the so Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm out of practice, as you can see, yeah. But the spear is definitely good because you can keep the zombies at a distance because otherwise you have to go really, really close to them and they have a really far reach. They can slap you when you don't expect it, like this. But those two are, nope, almost gone. Well, I'm not doing such a good job showing you how to do it, right? Well, like I said, I haven't played this game in a while. So I'm just going to go clean it out, see what we find, and then see if this is maybe a place I can make home. I like this basement here. But yeah, we got to clean it out. And then we have to, we would have to close all those holes and probably also close this basement entrance. 
so we have better control over who comes to the house yeah all right we need to put a door here because i destroyed the other one because it was locked oh my god no stay out this is my house now ow i gotta be more careful i should be okay come on die already all right she's down so let's put the door here and then I call this my home. All right, we're back. Uh, don't want to be out when it gets dark because I am still very weak and I'm a super thirsty. I have a hard time finding enough to drink. That's a little bit of a concern because they changed this in this game that you can no longer fill up water at the lake with empty jars yeah unfortunately they changed that so it's gonna be a lot harder i assume now i just have to find a place for my bedroll if it lets me finally well that's not where i would want my bed to be but in this game you can never really sleep so i guess it doesn't really matter right Right now, I just want to be safe. I put a hatch down here. It's not in the right position, but right now I just want to be safe and I don't really care. I'm just going to get a few more items because I have 10 more minutes before I should probably go inside and the zombies get crazy. So now I have to fix one big problem, which is that they can come in from here right here i mean the door is closed but that won't last that won't hold so i'm just gonna put some blocks here for now i'm gonna figure out later how i'm gonna properly do this but i just for the night at least i want to make sure that they can't come into my house through the basement because they are so destructive oh boy they want their house back yeah that's not good i am not properly prepped yet i just put a block there so they can't come in uh, but i still have this door back door i didn't really destroy that door because it's locked which makes it harder but i'm a little worried about them destroying my walls right now all right i'm just gonna go up just i can't do anything about it right now I'm gonna stay up here. I feel like the safest up here and I just uh, work on my inventory a little bit. I got a lot of stuff and I need to kind of get this out of my backpack and into that box. Oh my god, no, there's one up here? Oh shoot! I did not expect that at all. Oh god. My spear, my spear is broken. I can't defend myself. All right, I'm dead again and I'm still naked. I forgot. I need to make clothes. Well, they're definitely in the house. Um, and I feel like a little bit trapped up here because if they all come up here at once, I have a problem. So I'm just going to have to make myself an emergency exit here. Oh almost done i made it so now if they come up i have a way to run away it's almost over six more minutes and then we're good i'm totally fine i, I feel good now that i can get out of my house and run if i have to <laughs> okay two more minutes one we I survived my first night on my own little house, which is full of zombies. <laughs> All right, we'll have to take care of it. So, here is my house, as you know. Still love it. Got my own little driveway, and I need to get rid of this scrappy old tree. That doesn't look very nice, right? I have learned a lot. I feel like lots of memories came back, if not all of them. I have made upgrades to the house. I planted some trees over here too. Look at the lovely view I have. And then my neighbors over there, I looted them all. Got super good loot. Got clothes on now. Got weapons. Got food. Got water. Plenty of water. 
took me a little while to find out how to do everything because some stuff is new and yeah i don't like those dead bodies in front of my house Ugh, nasty now i've just a blood spill anyway so let me give you a little tour i spiked that up even though there is it is actually blocked off inside then this is the new thing the do collector yeah that's what i had to do and uh, now i can collect my own water and with uh, two more attachments to it i get tons of water now more than i could ever use which is awesome and the back entrance is my main entrance now. I keep the front closed. I fix the hatch here. It's in a better position. I have a box up there because you can't use the cabinets. Well, you can use one here. Uh, there's my fire pit here. And then up here, I cleaned everything up. It's nice and clean now. I have my bed over there now. And then I have a land claim block for the first time. I never used them before because you could always have only one and I didn't want to waste it on one location. But now you can have more than one. As you can see, I have tons and tons of stuff. I found ammo, I found guns. I made this exit or entrance here way better. So when it rains, it doesn't rain in. And I got this beautiful deck now with two planter pots. Not sure if I want to have more. But I'm, I'm growing corn and potatoes right now. And yeah, I always need to have a balcony on all my bases in all my games. Because I love balconies. Anyway, or decks. And then here we have the bathroom, which still looks awful. Um, eventually, I want to make this nicer. Not so important, though, when you're trying to just survive. I got this nice little dining area over here. I put a hatch there just in case, got my living room here and then down here I cleaned up too. I got a storage box and I got a forge. I can't make a workbench just yet, I'm kind of like one skill away from it. Put some torches down here so it's not so dark and uh, fix this hole here and made this all a closed it's not all proper yet i'll fix that eventually right now i just want to make sure zombies can get in or not get in easily yeah that's pretty much that um lots to do i don't have paint yet so i can't fix the walls i mean the looks of the walls yet but i'll fix that the door goes opens the wrong side away i need to fix that too put some spikes here Here's my one gun that I really love, but I barely have any ammo. And look at that. I got plenty to drink now. I even made tea and yucca juice. It's life is good. I am very, very happy. I can't believe I just fell in love with the first house basically that I saw. Well, besides the other one, but I didn't want to have the same house as in the previous game. I also have a horde base already, but this is not in this video. So now we're just going to go and find some good loot. Look what I got from the trader for doing a job for him. A bike. That's an absolute must. Get this as soon as you can because it helps so much. You can not only carry much, move faster but also if you have a hurt leg for example you can move with this much easier than if you had to walk and also faster you can also get away from zombies much easier than if you were on foot especially if your leg is broken anyway just saying i love my bike so today we're going to visit a new vendor or trader and this is perfect for the bike because I have to go into the burnt area, which is a little bit higher tier than what I am in right now. And I'm still not really um, equipped well enough to deal with the more dangerous creatures that are around, like the dogs and then the snakes can be a little iffy. And some of those creatures in the burnt area are super fast. But on the bike, this shouldn't be a problem at all because I can just outrun them pretty well. I'm not so sure about that 
dogs, but I feel pretty confident, so I'm pretty sure I'll be just fine. Man, I don't think I was supposed to go up on the mountain here. I think the trader is downhill, so I have to probably do the rest on foot here because I need to get back down. There it is. Oh, it's in a church. Nice. All right, let's not do any fall damage here. Can't afford breaking a leg. All right, we made it. I'm here. Awesome. New trader. And as far as I know, this is the nice lady because the other trader is not nice. He is a tool to say the least. <laughs> You again? I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. Well, that was fast. Nice job. Yeah, she's super sweet, not like the other guy. Well, if you did a job like I did here, is I get a reward, I can choose one. This is just in case you don't know the game. And then you can also ask for a job from her and you can buy stuff from her. So it's pretty pain, cool. Really? And yeah, I accepted that job from her and then realized too late that this is a higher tier job. Of course, I got overwhelmed with too many creatures that were like higher ranked than me, like this snake that I forgot how I used to take them down. I think I used to do that with a shotgun. I don't, ouch, I just got bit. My health is really low and those guys here are pretty fast, some of them. And uh, I'm bleeding. I am basically bleeding out. The snake is still coming after me. <laughs> uh, but I want to kind of finish the job. I'm not giving up so easily. I'm also infected on top of it all. But I stopped the bleeding at least. I got only seven bullets left. Of course, I miss. And I miss again. A shotgun would have been way better in this situation. I don't want to go too close to the snake. But I'm desperate. I just want to get it. It's it's a big danger i actually did get it so then i'm thinking well i actually do want to have the resources which you get leather from it the meat you can't really eat i seem to be fine right here so i'm just skinning the snake real quick. i actually get meat edible meat wow yeah i forgot about that i always knew there's something good about the snake so i'm just gonna see if i can just stab this guy real fast he is actually slow and i feel pretty good at this point i'm like i already got a few down there's a bunch in the church though but i'm gonna take it one guy at a time want to get the loot back here real quick all right get some good stuff awesome next guy comes and he slaps me really hard so i'm down to like seven health and i don't have a bandage on right at hand right now so i'm like that's not good i don't think i'm gonna do this i kind of lose my optimism here uh, but i'm not gonna give up just yet just gonna try but the guy's coming at me hard and fast he's not going down of course me with that weak spear here yeah one more slap and i'm down anyway i should stick to the other tier before i attempt this so i hope you enjoyed this video i'm not sure yet if i want to make more seven days to die videos because i don't know how many people are really interested in that i definitely i am back into this game very hooked again it's very fresh to me again i totally enjoy it and i'd be happy to make more videos i have some really fun things happen in this game all the time so let me know in the comments what you think and um, if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet and I hope to see you next time until then happy gaming take care bye bye